Welcome back to my Keep Up channel. Donald Trump picks J.D. Vance as running mate opting for a MAGA favorite in last-minute decision. Donald Trump picked Ohio Senator J.D. Vance as his running mate on Monday afternoon, choosing a grassroots favorite ahead of more seasoned political operators. The former president left it until the last possible moment, using all his showman skills to leave the world guessing, before opting for 39-year-old Vance. Trump made his announcement on Truth Social dropping it just as delegates were rubber-stamping his nomination as presidential candidate at their convention in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. As vice president, J.D. will continue to fight for our Constitution, stand with our troops, and will do everything he can to help me make America great again, he wrote in a statement that cited his career as a Marine, best-selling author, and in business. Vance arrived on the convention floor two hours later to a hero's welcome for the official nomination vote. The Biden campaign immediately went on the attack, picking over Vance's hardline record on abortion and saying he would do the bidding of billionaires and corporations. Vance swept to national attention when he published his best-selling memoir Hillbilly Elegy, in 2016, the year Trump was elected president. He has been a senator for less than two years but has established himself as one of the fiercest defenders of Trump's Make America Great Again agenda, especially when it comes to foreign policy trade and immigration. The former venture capitalist and U.S. Marine had initially been critical of Trump. He didn't vote for Trump in 2016 and around that time tweeted, my God what an idiot. But insiders said he became increasingly politicized as he watched the nation's elite institutions turn on the Trump presidency even as he delivered on his promises. Since then he became personally close with the former president and his son Donald Trump Jr. His feisty appearances on Fox News impressed Trump, as has his recent weight loss. Last week, Don Jr. told DailyMail.com, You make a lot of acquaintances in politics, but J.D. is a great and loyal guy who has become a genuine friend. His entire life story is the embodiment of the American dream, but he never forgets where he came from. The role of VP has taken on even greater significance in the past 48 hours after an assassin's bullet hit the former president's ear on Saturday. His running mate will have to be ready to step up to the top job at short notice. J.D. has had a very successful business career in technology and finance, and now, during the campaign, will be strongly focused on the people he fought so brilliantly for, the American workers and farmers in Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Ohio, Minnesota, and far beyond, said the former president in his statement. Vance will also now be expected to enthuse Trump's base and inject some millennial energy into the race. His blue-collar Ohio roots will could also help beat President Joe Biden in his so-called blue wall states of Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Michigan. House Speaker Mike Johnson said, President Trump needs a vice president with innovative ideas and the ability to articulate them to every single American voter and Senator J.D. Vance fits that mold perfectly. It is time to unite our nation and we are eager to grow our House majority and get to work with this ticket to restore America's greatness once again. Charlie Kirk, founder of Turning Point USA and one of the voices lobbying for Vance, said, a great choice by Trump. Let's win this thing. Insiders said the two other finalists were Senator Marco Rubio of Florida and Governor Doug Burgum of North Dakota. Burgum was heavily backed by media mogul Rupert Murdoch, who wanted a more moderate, restraining voice close to Trump. It was not enough. Even as a string of attack pieces surfaced in the media last week, betting markets declared Vance the clear front-runner. After the announcement, Don Jr. paid tribute to incredible patriots Burgum and Rubio. Biden is stuck with the worst VP in the history of our nation, he posted on X. President Trump has one of the most dynamic, young leaders in the country in J.D. Vance. Jen O'Malley Dillon, chair of the Biden-Harris 2024 campaign, attacked Vance's record and said he had been picked because Trump knew he would do what Mike Pence balked at, bend over backwards to enable Trump and his extreme MAGA agenda, even if it means breaking the law and no matter the harm to the American people. Source, DailyMail.co.uk Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.